Gunnan, welcome to Barnsley Town Centre on this lovely Thursday morning as we unveil the Glassworks. Can I first introduce onto the stage the Deputy Leader of Barnsley Council, Councillor Andrews. Good morning and, and welcome to this brand new building on a, on a beautiful September day. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce Councillor Caroline Makinson, the Mayor of Barnsley. Thank you, Councillor Andrews. Good morning, everyone. Over the past few years, we've all watched the glassworks come to life. And I'm so proud to be stood here today at the official opening of our beautiful public square. This award-winning development is something significant for Barnsley. It is built upon Barnsley's strong traditions and sense of community and provides a modern, accessible and inclusive destination for everyone. And it's truly a great moment. I can't wait, along with everyone else I know, to explore all the different new facilities which bring together the public square and our fantastic library at the light box with leisure, retail, food, drink and of course our Barnsley Markets and Market Kitchen. The addition of the Barnsley Museums Gallery at the Glassworks I hope will give more people even more reasons to visit. This is just the beginning for Barnsley Town Centre and we're very much looking forward to more shops, bars and venues opening very soon. Please go and explore the glassworks today, enjoy the public square and enjoy the first entertainment to take place in the square. And with more exciting entertainment coming this Saturday. So please tell family and friends all about it so they can come and visit too. I'm now going to hand you over to our very own MP, Dan Jarvis. Well, Madam Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Wow. What a moment. Um, I'm really, really proud to be here. Um, and I'm reminded of that very famous quote from Winston Churchill. We shape our buildings and thereafter they shape us. And it really is a huge pleasure and a, and a great privilege to join you all this morning at the official opening of the next phase of the Glassworks and to see the future of Barnsley Town Centre quite literally taking shape around us. The Glassworks and the wider regeneration of the town centre is intrinsically and uniquely Barnsley. It is a project that is rooted in our town's proud industrial heritage, a celebration of the miner and the glass worker who stand proudly shoulder to shoulder on our town's coat of arms. But it also sits right at the cutting edge of the future, a modern market complex, delicious, international cuisine in the market kitchen, the fantastic library at the light box, world leading retailers and entertainment facilities with much, much more to come. For me, I think it symbolizes our town's ethos, proud of our past, optimistic and hopeful about our future. Now I know uh, from my constituency post bag and email inbox that not everybody believed that we would get to this point today. And I think it is fair to say that on occasion, the patience of some residents and businesses has been stretched just a little. But whatever the challenges from the global financial crisis to the COVID-19 pandemic, Barnsley Council and all their partners have worked tirelessly to keep the project on track. And for that, we should all be very, very grateful indeed. And my thanks goes out to everybody who at various stages has been involved with this project. And it's wonderful to see today many people who've been involved over the years. 
I also want to say that I'm immensely proud to have supported this project from the very start, both as the local MP and as the city region mayor. And I've done so not only because I think it is vital for our town's prosperity, because of the huge difference it has and will continue to make to our economy. Creating 70 full-time jobs with a further 650 jobs projected at completion. Safeguarding 200 jobs through the redevelopment of the Barnsley markets in phase one. Investing in the local economy with the developer Henry Boot uh, spending £26 million with Barnsley-based suppliers. Supporting training and skills through the creation of 28 new uh, and supporting 43 existing apprenticeships. And that, that is just the start. I know that there is much, much more to come as the glassworks continues to take shape around us. Now, I don't want to keep you all here for too long because I know that you would rightly much rather be exploring the glassworks and everything that it has to offer. So I will close again with a final huge thank you to everyone who's been involved in this project and everyone who's worked so hard to get us to this incredible point. Thank you all. MP for that, those few kind words and now ask Madam Mayor to, uh, to cut the ribbon. Can I just tell you that the Mayor's concert, consort has already hidden his credit card so when to get seen that's it. Well as the man makes her way to cut the ribbon, we'll have a countdown from five. And here we go, please join it. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. And a reminder to all dignitaries who joined us this morning, can you please uh, hang around the, the square here and uh, we will be taking some official photos. Thank you. Uh -huh.